If the name Lingenfelter sounds familiar, it's because they've been tuning cars like the Camaro and Corvette for almost 50 years. Now they're going to hit the off-road market. So let me paint this picture for you. You have a 3.6 liter V6 Colorado or Canyon and you're hitting the off-road and you wish you had a little more power to get up that hill. Maybe you're stuck on a stump that you need a little more power to get over top of. Or maybe you're on a highway and you wish you had a little bit more merging power. Lingenfelter has got you covered. Check this out. So obviously Lingenfelter is ready to drop an Edelbrock supercharger on top of your 3.6 liter V6. The video you saw they did focus on the ZR2 but they will do this package to any model Colorado or Canyon with the 3.6 liter V6. Now they did not specify any suspension modifications so I don't know if that is going to change. I don't know if say you have the Z71, if they're going to give you new shocks or new springs, um, if you have the base 4x4 model, I don't know. Uh, they just stated that if it has the 3.6 V6, they can and will put the supercharger kit on it. They did, though, specify that if you have a ZR2 model, they are not going to touch the suspension at all. It's already perfect. It's already incredibly off-road capable, and rightfully so, they're leaving it alone. So they will drop the supercharger on top of it, giving you 416 horsepower. That's a pretty big jump from the 308 factory, especially when you have a lifted truck and some slightly bigger tires. That supercharger is really going to help both off-road and on-road. So if you're looking for that extra power, this is a package you might want to consider. Now, the downfall to this is right now it's still new and they have not released a whole lot of detail of what's included in the package, nor have they released a price. So we're still waiting on some of that to be released and hopefully, you know, maybe they'll give us a nice exhaust system too. Because, I mean, obviously you put a supercharger on it, jamming more air down in that motor, you want it to breathe a little bit better too. So maybe they'll give you a nice cat back and uh, give it a little tone to the exhaust to add to the whine of the supercharger. I think that'd be pretty cool. So what I want to know right now is, do you have a 3.6 liter V6 in your Canyon or Colorado right now? Do you feel like you could use some more horsepower? Because obviously, I don't think there is such a thing as too much horsepower, especially if you're putting a supercharger. The sound that thing makes is intoxicating. So I would probably want it just for the sound, but obviously the horsepower is great too. So leave your comments down below if this is something you would want to get. All right, now for my bit of mini news. Ford is saying that they might be phasing out the V8 F-150s. I'm not going to say they're completely going to go away, but they are saying the demand for a V8 truck is nowhere near as high as the demand for the twin turbo EcoBoost. It's more fuel efficient and it's making more power. So it makes sense that most people are going with the EcoBoost. So unless you're a die hard who needs that V8, mainly for the sound, or maybe you just don't like the fact that there's a V6 in your truck, Ford's gonna slow down production on the Coyote motor for the F-150. There is rumors that they might come out with a new V8 that's smaller, like a 4.8, that's going to produce, you know, decent power, but be more fuel efficient. Again, that's rumored, but the only thing we know for sure right now is they are slowing production of the 5.0 for the F-150. So if you want one, you can obviously, you can buy them used, or you could probably order one through Ford. They just 
aren't going to be producing as many of them. So drop your comments down below and let me know if you are a diehard who needs that V8 in your truck. Now, that's all I got for this video, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification, and I'll catch you next time.